like this shirt for today. Happy Wednesday afternoon. I have old makeup on my face. I'm, it's noon and I just got out of bed. It's okay because I worked and I don't, this is my off day. This is my off day and I'm, I literally had four off days in a row last week. I did nothing with them, literally nothing. And so I'm not letting myself do that again because I didn't feel good after I did that. So instead of staying in my house for my off day, which is like what most people like I think would want to do, I don't like doing that because I don't get anything done in my house. I'm going to go try a new coffee shop and sit in the coffee shop and edit because I've been slacking on editing recently. Sorry. But if I go sit in an environment that I have nothing else to do but edit, I'm going to edit. I don't know where tapestries are sold. But I want like littler tapestries to put over my windows because I just have my blinds up all the time because I like natural lighting and I don't like when my blinds are down. But I want like miniature tapestries to go over the windows as like curtains. But it still lets light in because the tapestries are thin. I just don't know where to get those. And I don't want to spend like $30 on both or on each. There's a place called Earthbound in the mall and I know they sell tapestries but they're probably like $30 each and I don't want to do that. I might go to Ulta and get this tan. Okay, I don't do fake tans. Like, I don't do it. Because, first of all, I just like how I look pale. But I'm also scared of fake tanning because so many people's come out poorly. And I just don't ever want that to happen. So I'm just not going to self-tan myself or get a tan ever. Unless it's by the sun. But there was this clear gel. This clear gel fake tan thing and you rub it in and it's clear and so like it doesn't do anything and then like it develops and you have like this perfect tan and I've seen so many people review it and no one's had a problem with it and it's like $14 at Ulta the thing I don't care about being tan but like $14 and like really good reviews on this product that's clear that you can just rub in with your hands it literally looks like hand sanitizer. It was intriguing. My older sister showed it to me. This is it. This is all I'm doing. I don't care. This is it. I'm going. I might make a coffee first. Ooh. Why are you making a coffee before you go to a coffee shop? I probably, I normally drink one to two coffees a day. And so I might as well make one coffee, bring it, drink it on the way there and right now, and at the coffee shop get another one and not pay for two. Do you see my logic? This is my bag of shit. It's my good shit. So I have lost my book. What? Yes, I am. I'm still reading this book. Okay, I had a hard time. I got into it quite a bit and then I stopped reading. What the? F I'm literally halfway through it. I just haven't finished it because I've been wanting to start my new book, but I won't let myself start my new book unless I finish this book. But I'm more interested in my new book now. Anyway, I'm gonna bring the, I bring the book everywhere I go in case I have a second of peace and I'm like, oh, I'll read. It's only ever happened at the park, but I don't know where I'm gonna end up today. So maybe I'll end up at the park. I have no idea. And we're off. car if you're a regular watcher of my youtube channel you might be thinking to yourself greer that is not your car yep you'd be correct this is not my car my car is in the shop and it's been in the shop for the last week <clears throat>
So I'm driving my older sister's 2004 janky Jeep Liberty with almost 200,000 miles on it. Listen to it start. I, I, I don't know. It's not, I don't choose it. I'm appreciative of this car, but I don't choose to drive it. I forgot my aux cord. One second. I ended up at a place called Harvest Market. It's a market, it's a grocery store, but they have an outside patio that I think I can just sit in. I don't really want to sit outside, but I don't know where else to go. Like, I'm in a dilemma. Like, I don't want to go home, but I have n don't know where to go. There's another coffee shop I could go into called Love Coffee, but that means I'm gonna have to buy another drink, and I don't want to buy another drink. Also, my drink that I just got from this place was 3.11. $3.11 for a 16 ounce coffee. I don't know how, I don't know why. I think there was a discount, but I don't know why there was a discount. No idea, but I appreciate, I appreciate it. I don't know, I don't know how it was $3, but like, I haven't had a $3 coffee ever. Do I go into the grocery store and I have to get Coke, no. Do I go into the grocery store and sit on a patio outside? And edit. do I go into this new coffee shop, get another drink, and sit there until 6, because they close at 6? Or do I go to this boba shop, get a boba, and sit in the boba shop? I hate being indecisive. Does a boba shop have a bathroom? I have to pee so bad. Hmm.